Hey guys, Jameson with Fujifilm here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up high speed recording in your camera. We'll take a look at some of the controls and then I'll show you some examples of how you might want to try it out at home. High speed recording or high frame rate recording is called that because you take more frames per second than regular video. This means at 120 frames per second, one second of recording is five seconds of playback and at 240, one second of recording is 10 seconds of playback. To get the camera set up, find the movie mode on the dial. It could be on either side of the electronic viewfinder. On the X100 or X Pro series, use the drive button and go down to the movie mode. On the X-T4, use the dedicated switch. Then go into the movie menu. Find full HD high speed recording. Try to match the frame rate to the existing video you've already shot. This will make editing much easier. Use the menu to find the comparable frame rate. The easiest way to set up the camera is to put the ISO in auto, the aperture in auto. You can manually set the shutter speed. If you're trying to observe the 180 degree shutter rule, set it twice as fast as the existing frame rate. So 240, 250th, or 500th of a second. If you don't understand what that is, set the shutter speed to automatic. Now let's look at some examples of high speed recording. We always see it in nature documentaries. It helps slow down fast moving animals so we can see things that we wouldn't otherwise with regular speed video. But high speed recording can be used in a lot of other ways. It can help add emotion or depth for insert shots in existing video projects, gives us a unique perspective on things we've seen before, and helps break up the flow of the video. This will keep the viewer engaged. And while high speed recording is a great tool, there's some guidelines to use it effectively. One minute of recording can be up to 10 minutes of playback. That's a lot of time trying to find the shot you want. So have a plan. Try to think about the moment you want to show. And when editing, trim off as much footage before and after the moment of impact. Slow motion shots that drag on can become stale. So remember, in this case, less is more. And while these guides are helpful, they're not rules that can't be broken. It's about experimenting and seeing what you can do with a new tool. So now you know the basics of setting up high speed recording in your camera. Play around with it and see what you can come up with. The most important thing is to just have fun. Be creative. And join us for another Workbench from Fujifilm.